Yo, what's going on guys? So in today's video, man, we are going to be using the recently buffed FFAR in Cold War. If you guys remember, at the beginning of Season 3, we received a massive buff on the FFAR. They made the task force usable, the weapon just became a lot more accurate, and you could just use the weapon and have fun and find success. This time around, mid-season update, this is going to be one of the top weapons. It seems like they're really trying to push for this weapon to be used more. So this time around, we got a damage range buff by one it you know better than nothing makes the weapon more powerful and then they decrease the bullet velocity by nearly 100 now listen up i know it sounds like a bad thing like oh my god the bullet velocity is worse but keep in mind the bullet velocity is already super high on the ffr so them decreasing it is going to make the weapon more accurate and easier to use i'm also going to be giving you guys my updated setup where it's going to make it just an absolute powerhouse of a weapon so Without further ado, man, here is my updated class setup for the FFAR after its recent buff. Starting off, you guys can see, I mean, we got eight attachments on this thing. I don't normally rock eight attachments on my FFAR, but it's something I haven't done in such a long time. So I was like, you know what? Let's change things up a little bit. Let's do so. So I got an optic sight. I have my favorite one, the Microflex LED. I like the iron sight, so I'm like, you know what? I got to stay true to having Gunfighter on. I better have every single attachment filled out. So... Got the Microflex LED, uh, Millstop Reflex is another great option, whatever you like more. Muzzle, we got the Infantry Compensator for better recoil control. It's going to make her up in a laser beam. Wait, wait till you see what else I have paired with this. It, no recoil whatsoever. For the barrel, obviously I threw on the Ranger barrel. I mean, you, you guys heard me earlier, the bullet velocity did get decreased by almost 100%. This does fix it, which... It's completely okay, because before, when it was already really, really high, this is the barrel I was using already, so I made it even higher. So I kind of just want to fix it and keep it normal, and, um, you know, this just works out very, very well for me. For the body, I got Steady Aim Laser. I'm going to be honest, the hit fire on this with the Steady Aim Laser, phenomenal. Absolutely amazing. I mean, this thing is so accurate from the hip and very helpful whenever you're just pushing buildings. Under barrel, I got foregrip. We get plus 15% horizontal recoil control. So, the foregrip... And the infantry compensator, I'm telling you guys, you're going to see some of the craziest gunfights I got into at long range. I actually was super successful and it was so satisfying because previously, I would have never been that successful with this. Moving on, magazine. We got the Salvo 44 round fast mag. So, we get the highest amount of ammo we can get in each round in magazine. And uh, we get to reload quicker. I mean, you guys know the fire rate is really high. It, you burn through ammo. All right. So I'm having this on. I could reload quicker and I got as much ammo as I possibly can have. Aim down sight time does get kind of torched up, but I got the serpent wrap. So it fixes it and we just have a default aim down sight time, which is absolutely amazing. 20 plus 25 aim down sight time. Magazine was minus 25. So we're going to go. And my final attachment is raider stock so this is going to be our mobility attachment we really didn't have too much of a mobility uh just buff on our weapon throughout this entire setup we get plus 30 percent sprint to fire time so our weapon can come up quicker after sprinting and we get plus 40 percent aim walking movement speed so we get straight quicker and it makes it harder for them to hit their shots on us and going back to the barrel real quick i mean this knocks us down 20 percent this gives us 40 so you know we fix it and then on top of that 20 percent more aim walking movement speed here's an overview if you guys want to get like a screenshot of it hopefully you can see everything without my face cam blocking it we got dual diamantes there's the setup if you guys want to jot that down we got stim shot c4 field mic and then my three perks i got flak jacket because hey man them explosives hate me scavenger to keep using my weapon and then ninja um, i'm stealthy i could flank and you know enemies don't know where we're at guys i got some call new gameplay for you guys to enjoy um we went off i mean this thing is amazing subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't yet already there's a new video every single day and we are also on the road to 400,000 subscribers drop a like on the video can we get like 300 likes in the first 24 hours all right shooting for a random just number that'd be awesome if we could do it all right you could do it right now before the gameplay starts and then follow the twitch live stream it's where i got the gameplay we're live every single day straight vibes enjoy the gameplay your boy snapped the balanced ffar it got a buff and a nerf lower bullet velocity and an increase in damage i believe a damage range whatever it was actually you know what i'm gonna say this, it's a buff because even though they nerfed the damn i reloaded quick as hell oh my god the reload speed's insane nice even though the bullet velocity got decreased are you serious man camping across the map even though the bullet velocity got decreased that's a positive because it doesn't shoot shoot as quick which means the weapon's gonna be more accurate 
It's going to be easier to control, I, I, honestly, now that it doesn't shoot as quick. So I'm kind of happy they, they uh, decrease the bullet velocities. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely helpful. And we got eight attachments on it, so this is actually a, a pretty big buff. We'll see what we can do. Nice. Oh my god. Hey. Wait, why are they spawning here? I just... Yeah, man, they actually kept spawning there. Okay, I need to build some momentum up. Man, I bet y'all can't name the last time that I played Satellite. Like, what am I doing, bro? Satellite? Frizz, you're playing Satellite? What? Hey, this thing is frying right now. Hold on. Nice. Hey, the FFAR is the gun right now. Alright. I gotta play smart. Like, I feel kind of confident at long ranges. I don't know why. Nice. Let's just get out of there. Shoot, dude. I don't... I don't really know how to push this. Alright. Do I got a high glitch of sand dunes? I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't like that. I don't. I really don't like that side at all. Or... Nice. W. Nice. Where's this guy at? I'm on a fourteen. Whoa, whoa, I'm getting shot from a different dude. Alright. I did tag him up a little bit. Dude, the range is really good now. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, having a, a lower bullet velocity is a is a W, to say the least. I'm running out of ammo. 17. Dude, I have no ammo on my my AK. Nice. New V up. Alright, I need to back up. I need to go get some ammo for this AK-47. Or for my... There it is. I got my nuke. Alright, cool. Let me get some ammo back here. Nice. We got some. Cool. Well, that AK definitely helped me out a lot, huh? Dude, this is insane. Hey, this stuff of is the is the weapon right now. It's feeling really good. It's a lot more accurate and sturdy. Maybe because I... Oh, that guy scared the... He's aiming alive. I got mine a brutal. I'm going to be honest. I think it feels good. Because I have eight attachments on it. But, like... I always run a, a grip and a... What is it called on it? I always run four grip in Spetsnaz comp. So I'm not really sure why it feels this like insane. I think it's because it, that that bullet velocity nerf really did make a big difference. There we got a we got a nuke medal as well. I had to make up for those AK-47 uh, kills. Let's go. Nice. Yeah, the FFR is pretty. Oh, shit. I'm almost done. If you remember back when Cold War first released, the FFAR was like insane. It was overpowered. All the people. And the comp team were running it. Like, it, it it was really, really good. And then they nerfed it to the ground. And it just was like, eh, forever now. And I think this kind of put it back to where it was. I, I, I actually mean that, too. Because I'm going to be honest. I'll be the first to tell you. I was, I was like, every time I had to make a video on this gun, it was just not feeling like the best in the world like obviously it got the job done i was able to get a video out on it and like you know i wasn't doing god awful with it but it just didn't feel like i wasn't comfortable with it is, is what i'm trying to say i just i don't know it wasn't all that for me so for there to be a buff on the weapon it's actually good now like i, I feel comfortable running around and fighting at like a long range is, is great we'll stay alive here we're doing good i'll call my nuke in a little bit Let's go, man. Hey, eight attachments on the FFAR is fantastic. 
Nice. Hey, look at that. Are you serious? Yo. GG. I'm running out of ammo. No wonder I'm running out of, Hey, no wonder I'm running out of ammo. I'm not hitting my shots. I'm just going to keep pushing. I don't know why I'm still alive. I really don't. Newbie up. I could just go for a gun streak. The game's like almost over, but... 64 and 3, we got ourselves a nuke. I'm happy with that. I really am. I'm just going to try to go on a... A higher gun streak. Oh, no, leave me alone. Okay, you're weak. I mean... What are the vibes, bro? Come on. Imagine I could drop two in one life. Nice. Hey, this thing's feeling ridiculous right now. Hey, this thing's feeling meaty. Like, hey. I'm liking this. I really am. Chat, give me those vibes. I would appreciate it. <laughs> I don't know. I forgot. I gotta move. Oh, my God. My teammates were, like, not ready for me at all. Nice. Dude. My least favorite thing has to be the splash damage. Like, that is annoying. I've died so much time from the splash damage on this thing. I'm dead. Yeah, GG. I don't even I don't even know what I was trying to do there. I, I have no idea. Yo guys, what was your first Call of Duty game where you dropped a callable nuke? Like what is the first COD game you actually called me your first callable nuke? Was it Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, or any COD after that that had one like AW and COD Ghosts and stuff? I see a lot of Modern Warfare 2s. Damn, really? Bro, I never played the game in its prime. It's sad. I, I really wish I did. That's something I really miss about that, man. I, I really, really wish I was able to drop a, a Modern Warfare 2 nuke in its prime. Dude, I went back when I was like 13 and dropped one, though. Like, within an hour. It was crazy. It was an Afghan. I was rocking the... Uh, the FAMAS was like a red dot site or something. It, it was like super meta stuff too. Obviously, I'm rocking sweaty stuff. We're about to win. Yeah, we're gonna win this. 92 kills, W. Nice. Come on guys, we need to wipe these guys off the hard, hard point. Yeah, we we need to make we need to make sure these guys do not get on here. Ninety nine. W man, now I was one off the hundred. That was a really good game. I mean, we we went on a solid gun streak. I gotta check it out. That was a man. I felt so good with that FFR. We went on a fifty six gun streak. Nice. One off of a hundred kills. Literally, that guy had like no health left. My God. I don't know about you guys, but man, I be I get I get so like triggered and mad so easily like i don't know why but i let the, the smallest things dream my day sometimes like i i don't i don't know why or like what it is but like if i'm having a rough day on the game i just like instantly get so annoyed like with everything like life just becomes annoying like i don't know why am i the only one who gets that way or do you guys feel feel what i'm what i'm saying because i feel like i don't know I really think it's only me sometimes. It's just weird. Anyone have any advice? Like, I, I don't know. I think I just, like, gen generally just get mad, like, easily. I don't know what it is. I don't know. It's weird. I don't, I don't know. The game pisses me off a lot. I'm just like, I don't know. Believe it or not, believe it or not, no joke, believe it or not, I'm actually a lot harder on myself than you guys are on me. Like, like people like, Frizz, you suck, you're terrible at the game. Like, 
I hope you guys understand when people say that it really doesn't bother me. Because I know I'm not the best. Like, I know I'm not even that good. Like, trust me, I'm always trying to improve. I don't care. I don't care if everyone in the world, everyone in the world was like, Frizz, you're, the, you're insane at the game. I don't care if everyone in the world said that to me. Like, I, I just me, my head, like, I, there's always something I can improve on. Like, I, I, I don't care. I don't care what anyone says. Like, I really don't. You could say you're, you could tell me I'm good all you want. I, like, it just doesn't. It doesn't matter unless I think I'm good. You know what I mean? I'm gonna die here, I think. No, I'm not. I'm just saying, I'm a lot harder on myself than you guys uh, than you guys are on me. W. We got our call of nuke in. I mean, I've been playing COD for like 10 years. I've already said this earlier. I've been playing COD for 10 years, man. 10 years. And the people I ran with when I first started playing were, I mean, th them kids are like, they're older than me. Like they, they've been playing a lot longer than me. And, and they were always harsh on me. And, and that made me want to become better. And I've always just been, been that way ever since, you know? So like, I'm always trying to improve as, as a player or whatnot. Keep in mind though, man, like before I ever did YouTube, I, I was always into the, um, I was a very, very competitive person. Very competitive. I played, um, I played XPs. Like I, I played UMG XPs. I didn't do any wagers. I wasn't like that insane at them, but like I played a bunch of UMGs. I was like, I was playing comp. I really was. I always played against sweats. Like, trust me, man. Out of anyone in the in the COD community, I'm telling you right now. Out of any of your favorite content creators, I'm telling you right now, I definitely played the most sweatiest players it was before YouTube or anything like that. And uh, it was a good way of learning. I would get my ass kicked all the time. Sometimes go negative. It happened. That's that, that that's what you. That's how you learn. Seriously, that's how you learn. And then when I started doing YouTube and stuff, like I had a. I had to focus on content. Like, I mean, the best way to, to get good gameplay is play dummies. Like, I mean, think about it. Like, no matter who you are, what, who the, what the content creator's name is, anytime they get a crazy gameplay, it is always against a bad players. Like, you like you don't see pro players dropping nukes against each other. Why? Because that doesn't, people don't do that stuff. You don't drop nukes and crazy gameplays against good players. That just doesn't happen. That's a fact. Like, yeah, you might think the kids are sweaty and you nuked them, but, like, at the end of the day, like, let's be real. Like, they're they're obviously not all that good if you're able to nuke them, you know? It doesn't matter. So, I don't know, man. Just think about it. I just, I just want to put that into perspective because I'm just saying, I've been there and done it. I've played all the sweaties you could think of. I've done it all. Trust me. I really have. But now that I, like, like do YouTube and stuff, like... I don't know. I don't have time to be playing SWATs. Like, I need to get videos out and stuff. Like, that's the move. People don't understand that either. People really just don't understand that concept. It really does suck because it's, like, not hard to understand. Love you. I don't know. I'm just saying. I, I always wanted to explain something like that because people just, people don't understand, man. Like, I trust me. I've played enough. I've played enough sweaties. I've done all that stuff before. It's just... I gotta get YouTube videos out, and for the most entertaining gameplay, man, people, the general population enjoys watching those pub stomp gameplays where you kind of just snap and go off on, on enemies, so. Oh, I'm done. Trust me, I've tried up one like like, try hard games, but... What does best is, is just gameplays repeat where I'm just kind of slapping on, um, I'm just like regular kids, man. But trust me, I would love to do some more. Like if you guys want me to play tryhards, tell me I'll do it. Like if you guys want to watch and you guys are like actually interested, I'm down to do it. Like I really love doing that stuff. I really do. But it's up to you guys, man. If you guys are going to watch it, I'll make that long shot was insane. If you guys are going to watch it, I'll make it happen. Seriously. But it's just like, I've tried it before and it's just, it's just to see people are interested in it. But people are always asking for it. It's weird. I don't know.
All right, I'm going to check my gun streak real quick. Um, I'm sorry I didn't call in the nuke. I could have called it in. I just, like, zoned out. I was way too focused on what I was saying. And the, I mean, look at the score. We just kind of obliterated that team. Uh, all right, gun streak was a 50. Dude, 56 gun streak and then 57. At that time, we didn't even die. We were just flawless. That was phenomenal. That was a really good game, actually. Dude, the buffed FFAR, man. Put it in your hands. Use it. It's actually good now. It's, it's so, so good. Way better than it was before.